friends, it's Jenny Gailey with Grace Footsteps. Today I want to talk to you about a subject that none of us are crazy about hearing and that is waiting, waiting on God while you're petitioning Him for certain blessings in your life, for certain things that you have been believing for and know that God put it in your heart to believe for but you have been waiting. You know, God had given me a picture this morning to share with you um, about bread. Um, it's funny because I love to bake bread. If I'm stressed, like on a day that I'm particularly feeling stressed, it's very therapeutic for me just to make homemade bread. I don't know, I guess the the kneading gets some stress out and it's just something that's comforting and fills the house with just wonderful aromas. Um, I guess on weeks that I'm particularly stressed, um, Adam will be like, honey, are you starting a bakery? We have all this bread. But anyway, while you're waiting, what, it's, it's the enemy wants to come in and, and confuse you and tell you just the opposite, and that is that nothing is happening. But oh my goodness, if you let the Word of God work for you, if you have understanding that something is happening during the waiting, it'll make the waiting easier. Okay, let's look at Psalm 135. That's Psalm chapter 130, verse 5. I will wait for the Lord, my soul does Wait, and in his word do I hope. So there is a waiting in the Lord. There is a waiting where your soul has to wait. My soul does wait. Your soul, your emotions, it's, it's still when you are letting the word of God work for you. In, in his word do I hope. You know, when I'm making bread, the very first step is to dissolve the yeast into warm water. It's called proofing the yeast. You know, when we are believing God for certain things, there is a proofing of our faith, a testing of our faith. And with the yeast, there's a testing to make sure that the yeast is indeed viable. And if the yeast interacts with the sugar, there's going to be a visible layer of bubbles on the water mixture. So when the Word of God is doing the work that it's intended to work inside of you, there will be a visible effervescence of joy, of rejoicing, of expectation that can be seen and your Lord will be glorified during the waiting because you are rejoicing. Rejoice means to triumph over your enemies. So in that waiting, in that bubbly expectation that no, no, enemy's voice say, no, no, I hear you're saying that nothing's happening, but I know that this is just an important step of the process and I am going to be an effervescent, joyful person because my hope is in God. All right, let's look at 1 Corinthians 4.5. 1 Corinthians 4.5. Therefore, do not go on passing judgment before the time, but wait until the Lord comes who will, bring, who will both bring to light the things hidden in the darkness and disclose the motives of men's hearts and then each man's praise will come to him from God. You may be in a place where you're not feeling recognized. You may be in a place where you are in a situation and you're going, God, I don't know what you're doing here. But if you will just have faith and, and know 1 Corinthians 4, 5 says, do not go on passing judgment before the time. That one phrase just leaped out at me. Don't say, God, I don't know what you're doing. Say, God, you are doing something. 
You are doing something. And at the right time, at the appointed time, I will see it. Philippians 4.4 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. So in your waiting, rejoice. In your waiting, and I know when you're waiting, oh, you're like, I wanted this to happen yesterday or two days ago or two years ago. In your waiting, rejoice. God knows. He sees your faith. You know, the enemy would like to, in certain seasons of our life, bring in confusion. And you're, you're opening that oven door. You're opening that oven door waiting to get the bread out, to eat the bread. And you're not in that season yet. So ask God, what season am I in? So that you can embrace it in the waiting. Praise God.